We have Herperfield Canine here, also Eglin Canine. We're doing our explosive detection with EOD. We do this training every year. We have different lanes set up, like IED indicator lanes, uh, mass odor. We did an aggression detection scenario. Coming together and uh, putting a big training day for Canine. I was uh, the decoy, so I was in one of the lanes where the scenario was dog teams had to encounter a threat, i.e. me. They handle that threat by either releasing their dog or not releasing their dog. Um, after they get control of the suspect, which is me, their dog now has to transfer to a different task and go do detection work and find the explosives in a building. The EOD is the shmi in this as far as planting and, and, and knowing what's going on downrange in theater of you know, how the bad guys are setting up stuff, so that's why they're a must out here. If we were to go downrange um, and do roadways or go into village and these buildings, our dogs need to be able to locate explosives that are buried. Also, our handlers specifically being able to recognize indicators of where the explosives are. Also, very possible that their dog is used as a bite capability where he uh, apprehends and bites suspects and then after that immediately have to go search a compound for explosives. So the dog's got to be able to transfer from one task to the other. I'd say overall the dog's did pretty good but it's training so we obviously have things to need to work on to get to a level where we need to be being deployed in theater somewhere where these skills might come up.